a half men has been on this forced production hiatus now ever since Charlie's last reported wild night. You gotta check out this new message that the show's co-creator Chuck Lorre just revealed right on TV after the last original episode just aired. Brooke, what did this say? It said a lot, AJ. Look at this. I exercise regularly. I eat moderate amounts of healthy food. I make sure to get plenty of rest. I see my doctor once a year and my dentist twice a year. I floss every night. I've had chest x-rays, cardio stress tests, EKGs, and colonoscopies. I see a psychologist and have a variety of hobbies to reduce stress. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't do drugs. I don't have crazy, reckless sex with strangers. If Charlie outlives me, I'm going to be really pissed. Wow, there is no hidden agenda about that whatsoever. Carlos Diaz, out to you. It sounds to me like things between Charlie and his bosses are, are just incredibly rocky. Do you think this could turn into an all-out war that could wind up being the end of Two and a Half Men? Now, AJ, you know better than anybody. You've interviewed Charlie before. Charlie gets a joke, and he understands and appreciates a joke. And that's what this is. It sounds like... A joke, if you ask me, because it's really funny, and it's really honest, and that's what we strive for. We always want honesty in this business, and that's what's happening here. The producers are being honest, and they're saying, you know what? We're as healthy as can be. We're going to be mad if Charlie Sheen happens to outlive us, and Charlie, I think, is going to get this joke and be fine with it. I also think it's a bit of tough love making sure that Charlie really knows that they know exactly what's going on and that the audience knows exactly what's going on, because I think that's been lost on Charlie quite a bit, and obviously there's a lot of money at stake here. And last night's show, hey, still number one, of course. Now, Shawnee, you know all about on-set drama with your show Basketball Wives. What do you think? Could this kind of drama between the bosses and the star be the final unraveling of the biggest sitcom on TV? I don't think so. I mean, although I do think it's funny, I think that they are dead serious. You know, production is about making this show happen, and you have a lot of people on staff, and, and it's all very scheduled. And, um, you know, one person not showing up, one person kind of messing up the flow does just create a monster. So although it was said in a funny way, I think that uh, there was a message like, let's get our stuff together and get back going because yeah. the show must go on. Yeah, a lot of seriousness behind it, even, even if it was a bit of a joke. Uh, there's another reason to worry about Charlie today. you got to listen to this part of Charlie Sheen's outrageous radio interview in the Dan Patrick Show. He says he is sober now, but he's suggesting, hey... That may not last. Listen to this. I've been off. Well, I don't use sober anymore. I'm not an AA. I don't believe in that. You know, um, it's off and on. You know, it's been, uh, I was sober for five years a long time ago and just bored out of my tree and decided, you know, this is inauthentic. It's not who I am. And like that, you know, I didn't drink for 12 years. And man, that first one, Dan, wow. All right. So Charlie is saying CBS won't let him back to work until the end of the month. But from the sound of that, I'm thinking, you know, you know what? Maybe they should for his own good, even though that sounds like a dumb idea. That brings us to our show, is Flashpoint, could Charlie's work actually save him? Carlos, what do you think? Uh, if it does, if it does save him, and he did say, you know, I'm here, I'm ready to work, but I can be derailed really quickly, that sets up a really interesting thing as far as the ratings go, because <laughs> CBS can go, if you don't watch, Charlie could die, you know? So it's kind of like, keep watching Two and a Half Men. If not, the, the consequences could be dire. By yeah. the way, are we actually quoting Charlie Sheen from a sports talk show? Are we actually living Two and a Half Men right now? We're in a sitcom right now. Yeah, no kidding. Me.